Electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions really start becoming powerful when we can apply them to substituted benzenes and other substituted aromatics and heteroaromatics in particular. And luckily, substituted benzenes and related aromatics follow readily understood patterns in the site selectivity and the relative rates of electrophilic aromatic substitution based on the nature and the positions of those substituents. And that's what we're going to discuss in this video. Specifically, this video will focus on substituent effects on the rates of electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. And we're going to make this important distinction again between groups that are electron donating, that donate electron density into the ring, make the ring, say, more electron rich than benzene, and electron withdrawing groups, which pull electron density out of the ring and make it less electron rich or more electron poor than benzene. We'll see how this relates to the mechanism and rate of EAS reactions in this video. And to begin exploring this, I want to start with the case of R being an electron donating group in a monosubstituted benzene with a single substituent R that is electron donating. This might be methoxy, amino, alkyl, electron donating group of your choice. Take your pick. And let's remind ourselves, first of all, of the standard typical mechanism of electrophilic aromatic substitution. It's this two-step process where the aromatic coordinates to the electrophile E+. This will work for any active electrophile E+. We can keep the discussion entirely general. This generates an iridium ion, and the iridium ion for benzene is drawn here. In light gray on this slide and the next, I'm considering the reaction coordinate diagram for reaction of benzene as well as the substituted compound. And so we can see an iridium ion here is formed. That iridium ion is deprotonated to form the product. And the important conclusion for this video is that the first step is rate determining. So as far as effects on rate, everything's going to pertain to this first step, coordination of the electrophile E plus to the aromatic ring. The proton transfer has nothing to do with any differences in reaction rate between benzene and a substituted benzene. In that first step, E plus is pretty obviously the electrophile, and the aromatic ring acts as a nucleophile in this A sub E step. And in terms of electron flow, it's something like this, right? Pi electrons head to E plus, and this is how we arrive at these products on the right-hand side. And now we want to ask about the relative reactivity of our electron-rich benzene relative to benzene itself. So what I've done actually over here is drawn those curved arrows on this electrostatic potential map for an electron-rich benzene. This is an electron donating group. We can tell because of the high electron density inside the ring. And what happens here is donation of that electron density to E plus in the key rate determining A sub E step. And in the product, we can see that the electrophile has actually sucked off most of the electron density in the aromatic ring in this step. It siphoned it off, and now most of the electron density is actually in E in the product of this step. So what happens when we replace the H in benzene with an electron donating group? Well, we've made the aromatic ring more electron rich. This makes the ring a stronger nucleophile, and this leads to a faster reaction rate. This occurs through stabilization of the iridium ion intermediate. We're going to explore that stabilization in more detail when we talk about regioselectivity in the next few videos, in, in the very near future. For the time being, the thing we want to notice here is that substituting the H in benzene for an electron donating group, R, is going to lower the activation energy of that rate determining step by stabilizing the iridium ion too. The electron donating group stabilizes the positive charge. And there's some general logic to this we can apply at this point, that if R is donating electron density into the ring, electrons are negative. Those negative electrons are going to stabilize the positive charge that's inside the ring. In a sense, diminish the positive charge and stabilize it as a result. So electron donating groups make EAS reactions faster. Electron-rich aromatic rings are going to react faster than benzene in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Now let's consider the case where R is an electron withdrawing group 
And let's immediately contrast the electron density situation in an electron poor benzene like benzaldehyde with the one in an electron rich benzene like amino benzene or aniline. There's a huge difference here. There's much, much lower electron density in the ring of this electron withdrawing group substituted benzene. Everything we said previously, though, about the reaction mechanism still applies. The nucleophile is the aromatic ring in the rate determining step, the first step that destroys aromaticity. E plus is the electrophile. The electron flow looks like this. It's association of an electrophile to the aromatic pi system, A sub E. And on the electrostatic potential maps, we can draw curved arrows as well, and they look something like this. And we can see that E has ended up in a different position. This is subtle, but important to notice, particularly as we move into the regioselectivity discussion. Notice this group is meta to where the electrophile appeared, whereas in the previous example, E is ortho to where the donating group appeared. We're going to come back to that later. Now we want to ask, okay, if I start with benzene, which just has an H where this R is located, and I replace that H with an electron withdrawing R group, what happens to the rate of this A sub E step, which is rate determining? Well, I've made the ring more electron poor. That makes it a worse nucleophile, and that is its role in the slow step, in the rate determining step. So making the ring more electron poor will slow the rate by making the ring a worse nucleophile. Right? And an equivalent way to think about this is that electron withdrawing group actually destabilizes the uranium ion intermediate. This uranium-2 with an electron withdrawing group here at R is less stable than this uranium ion derived from benzene here in gray because of the electron withdrawing effects of the R group Right, in a very general sense. And we'll look at this investigating resonance in more detail in the near future. But if, even if this is inductively withdrawing, this is putting positive charge in the vicinity of the positive charge of the uranium. That's going to be a destabilizing effect, trying to shove two positive charges into a relatively small molecular space, so to speak. So the general conclusions here are that electron withdrawing groups, nitro, carbonyl, are the two most important by far, tend to slow electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions by siphoning electron density away from the aromatic ring and making it a worse nucleophile. Donating groups accelerate electro electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions by donating electron density into the ring and making it a better nucleophile. 